most individuals with um, ALS or Lou Gehrig's disease, as some would call it, um, the cause has to do more with the exposure to um, a variety of specific chemicals that are used within the agricultural uh, field. Uh, certain pesticides specifically. There's, a, there's three of them that are very specific to the um, uh, nervous structure of the human being and they do affect the nervous system and mm, it, though the mm, Department of Agriculture's uh, of different countries have basically deemed these chemicals within tolerable limits for the body uh, genetically some individuals are not tolerable and so the resultant is that as you expose these bodies to uh, these uh, minute concentrations of mm, these particular chemicals over a period of time you end up developing exactly that a uh, deterioration of the uh, nervous system which of course is what is viewed as Lou Gehrig's disease you see yeah your society your politicians your corporate world mm, you keep mm, insisting on establishing further and further boundaries into the tolerable levels of the interaction between the human mm, cell structure and chemicals that are in your environment. And you justify your use of these uh, on the basis of being able to expand the mm, uh, production of food source, production of animal uh, animals for food source, and, but really, the bottom line is, this has nothing to do with it. What it has to do with is profit mm -hmm. and greed. Mm -hmm. Yes. And so, as a society, you have abdicated your own self-responsibility in favor of greed. And you wonder why you have a variety of different, mm, call them allergic reactions, uh, body reactions, uh, diseases, syndromes, that are occurring in your modern world and why these are occurring more and more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And n none of you, as a society, are willing to accept the relationship between chemical exposure, variety of chemical exposure, as a result, interactive chemical exposure, and the physical uh, human body. Mm -hmm. and, n and so what you do is you do certain studies to prove to yourselves that your particular chemical is is okay and that particular chemical is okay and that particular chemical is okay and agreed the studies do prove to a certain degree that there is a uh, less of a chance of a reaction but consider that if you have 10,000 people and one person gets ALS mm -hmm. to that person that got ALS that chemical Mm, was not acceptable mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to the other 9,999 not a problem mm -hmm. or if there is a problem there are varying degrees not sufficient to get to create an ALS specific reaction in the body mm -hmm. so what happens is everybody sits there and says well it's okay eh, it's not harming me too too much no I don't see any physical inter discomforts I don't see any physical reaction it's all right uh, but you find yourselves, as a result of this, justifying your greed on the basis of your health. And so it isn't for us here to describe the actual individual uh, events. We provide you guidance. Mm -hmm. But you must choose as a society. You must choose whether greed will surpass your health. And at this point, it does. Mm -hmm.